Good morning, John! It is Tuesday, April 28th, and I have lost the power cord for my camera, and I have very little battery left, so this is going to be, have to be a very quick video. But I want this video to be roughly three minutes long, in which I will review ten books! Go! Les Miserables. I can't believe it took me this long to read this book, and I haven't seen the movie or the musical or anything. I just know, like, one of the songs. But I think it's safe to say that this one's gonna be a classic. Uh, decades, even centuries from now. Hyperion! Holy crap! Let's just say if you like the way that you see the world and experience the world, don't read this one. Because I think like 37% of the people I know who are warped in their mind are warped in their mind because of this book. Ursula Le Guin's Powers Trilogy. I love Le Guin. I am a Le Guin fan. I've got a whole shelf of Le Guin over here. We tend to see the world as it is and we don't think of the world as it has been or could be. And when we do think about that, we don't think about the people who inhabited those worlds. And I think that this trilogy does a really good job of doing that. It helps me appreciate the awesome of the world that I have, but still understand that amazing people come from all circumstances and situations. This book? is a joke book, and it sucks. I bought it because I was thinking about doing another jokes video, but the jokes that Nerdfighters put in comments are about 836% better than anything in this book. Interworld. Not really your typical Neil Gaiman here. Not as dark and dirty, but still fun and mysterious and interesting. It was meant originally to be a TV series, and I could definitely see how it could have gone in that direction. Ringworld. This is actually Ringworld Throne. This one kind of sucked, but the first one, Ringworld, was very good. If the complex and fascinating engineering details of it all didn't keep you captivated, probably the sexy and enigmatic characters would. But yeah, don't read any of the sequels. Not worth the time. The truth! Terry Pratchett is one of the greatest gifts the world has ever given me. I love you, world. Thank you for Terry Pratchett. And the truth for a journalist is like the best gift with the finest wrapping paper. And it's like topped with little flowers made of rum balls. Yes, Moist Von Lipvig is at it again! This time taking on the journalistic profession and telling the truth the way only a con man can. Sorcery and Cecilia, which I've already given away. Adorable book! Like a mix between Harry Potter and Pride and Prejudice, if only there were zombies! Yes, I'm kidding! Two young women get caught up in a magical mystery that's dangerous and dreadful and all kinds of horrible things are happening. But what the story is really about is those infuriating boys in marvelous outfits. And of course, I had never until last week read the Bermudez Triangle. Oh, Maureen Johnson, how you've outdone yourself. I can't believe they wanted to ban this. It should be required reading for everyone and going through high school right now. It's seriously like the best portrayal of friendship and sexuality that I have ever ever read. Thumbs up. And finally we have This Is Not Tom. Yes, that's right, the New York Times best-selling author of Paper Towns Looking for Alaska and an Abundance of Catherines is writing another book! And it's seeping out through riddles. You know, books have riddles in them all the time, but riddles have never had books in them before, and that, my friends, is what John Green is doing. I mean, it's really genuinely extremely exciting if you're not following it. It makes my head explode every single week. Every week, a new riddle gets posted at youtube.com slash isthistom, and as you follow the sequence of riddles through, you find the story of this young girl on the run, without friends, without anybody, knowing very little even about her own self. And of course, if you get stuck, this is not forums.com is something that I've started up. And so everybody's going there and helping each other out with the riddles when they get too hard. Because sometimes they're freaking hard. And if anyone else would like to give short book reviews, please do that in the comments. John, you will see me tomorrow.